guys thank you so much for coming back to watch if you're new here hi welcome my name is Sol. in today's video i'm going to be showing you my recent beauty related purchases and along with a little like mini review some of these things i'm going to show you are things that i had to repurchase and others are things that i wanted to just try out and i'll let you know i'll let you know how i like them so first um let me start off by reading my little affirmation card that way you can start off on a positive note this one says i am surrounded by abundance and this is a little illustration that goes with it and the back of the card says little quote says wealth is the ability to fully experience life and i totally agree with that and so yeah let's get started so the first items that i'm gonna start with i guess are like the most um boring items i guess because i feel like they're just like so generic but it's some face washes so the first one that i got i was I had run out of face wash and i needed something every time i buy something i always want it to be the most natural that i can find and with the cleanest ingredients this one i just got from walmart um the brand is called earth to skin and it's called the tea time yt cleanser um and it looks like this um I used it and you know the consistency is fine but the only thing that gets to me is the scent I can tell that it, there's a scent and you know I should have read the label like the ingredients list because on there it says fragrance and then in parentheses perfume and the thing is that with when they add that ingredient to like the whole um, fragrance word that can mean so many different things brands are not they don't have to list everything that's included in their fragrance formula as long as it says fragrance and a lot of the times it's ingredients are not good for you and so i just wish i would have read the label on the back i just saw that it was kind of clear so i assumed that it was unscented it's not um i'll still use it just to finish it up and not have it go to waste but it's not my favorite and i will not be repurchasing that because i just don't like that there's fragrance in it um, my skin is very sensitive and i just didn't want to risk it so when i use that um cleanser i also use a an acne scrub just so that if it does want to irritate my skin it'll kind of like counteract it well it, when i use the acne scrub um but yeah that was my mistake not reading the against label um another um so because of that i ended up buying another cleanser but this one i got from target and it's the oil free acne wash with salicylic acid acne medication and it's just from the up, up and up brand from target um like i said i am very scared to break out my skin breaks out very easily constantly bat, um, battling like acne and just skin irritation all the time i don't know if you can see but i have some spots here that i've been trying to get rid of and i feel like the scrub the acne scrub has been helping tremendously so i just thought i would go ahead and buy like an acne wash um and see how that worked for my skin it's so weird as soon as i turned 20 my skin just started acting up and it's frustrating but it could be worse um so now moving on to like beauty items and things that i'm like a little bit more interested in um the first item that i got that i would recommend it's this real techniques um blush brush and it is super nice it has like a pink um pink bristles and then it has like a dark gray almost black handle and it just has their like um initials for art which is rt and it is specifically for blush and it is angled and it is super soft and i feel like it just like contours perfectly to like the contour of your cheek and i use it for cream i am the queen of using my fingers for my makeup because i have a lot more control and it makes everything look super natural so um for a cream blush i just thought you know what maybe a brush will make it easier and it does make it easier and it keeps my fingers from getting blush all over them so hope you guys are proud of me that i finally started using a brush for my makeup just for a blush everything else i still use my fingers because i'm just a creature of habit <laughs> um the next item that i have i've had this for a while but it's still fairly new it's this eos um lip balm i don't know if it'll focus enough to show you what it looks like maybe not but it's just engraved and it says eos and it is a clear lip balm it's from their natural um range so it's super like natural clean ingredients and it is vanilla scented i don't know why i smell that because i smell it every day and i know what it smells like but i just love this for all day hydration and i also use it before i put on like a lip color that way my lips 
stay moisturized and the color doesn't like get in the creases um the next item that i have these are three um different items but within the same category they're all blushes i've been on a blush kick lately um with the warmer weather i just feel like i want to add more of like a lively look to my face so all these um blushes are within like the pink rosy shade and they're all um a little bit more on like the different consistencies but let me i'll let you know my thoughts this one i got is from the honest honest beauty and i got this one um at target i've showed it before in one of my other videos and this is um called rosy pink rose pink and it is a cream blush and it is super creamy and super blendable and easy to um manage and blend to the skin let me do a little swatch for you and it comes with a little mirror too so it's easy to take with you and this is what it looks like swatched it's just like a rosy nude color and you can share it out as well the next blush that i bought is by physicians formula organic wear this is a dewy blush elixir and i just thought it was a really nice like concept it's like a little pump so it is very easy to dispense and let me see if I can do a little swatch because sometimes I have a hard time oh no, getting it out of the pump because I have to pump it so much. And this one is still within like the pink rosy shade, but it is not as um, dark as the first one. You can build it up and the pigment is there, but it's just a little bit more of a natural wash of color and not as um, intense as the first blush. The last blush that I have is from Say, Say Beauty. I love this company. I love their tinted moisturizer and their highlighter. Their formulas are amazing and I feel like I have never used a product like their products in terms of formulation and the way they lay on their skin. They're all about minimal and less is more, which is my motto and what I always go by whenever I do my makeup. And you get a lot of product in this. I think it's like $22, I think. But I got it during the Sephora sale. So it was a little bit cheaper. And this is in the shade Rosy. And this is our Dew Blush. Um, again, with the rose pink tones. And it does have like a big doe foot applicator. Let me see if it'll... Maybe it's not wanting to focus. But it's a big doe foot applicator. And... It makes it very easy to blend. So let me show you what it looks like. Swatched. So this is what it looks like swatched. So it is more like mauve rosy in comparison to the Honest Beauty one and the um, Physician's Formula. Um, but it is super easy to blend. And it's like a gel-like formula. And it leaves your... Um, skin looking super dewy so it's just funny to me how these are all within like the rose rosy um shades but they all have like different undertones so it just really depends on what you're wearing and what you feel like um what you feel like you want your blush to look like and but yeah i recommend all of these you know they're all super easy to blend and perfect for spring and summer and very easy to just throw in your bag and take the only, well, I mean, if you're like me and you use your fingers, these would all work for you to be on the go. But in terms of um, being able to take, just toss in your purse, I'd probably say this one would be the easiest one. Um, or this one, just because you can just either open this up and then close it, and then you can unscrew and unscrew that back on. This is can be a little bit more messy just because it has a pump and you have to like pump it. Um, but they're all great and I recommend them all. And then last item... Um, it's not like a beauty related item, but it's so cute. I just wanted to share with you guys. Um, it's this little trinket dish that I got from Target. It says, I love you in the little clay. And it's from the Hearth and Hand collection, the Magnolia line that they have. And I just thought it was super sweet and dainty and cute. And it lays very beautifully on my vanity. And I just have like my little um, everyday earrings that I put on there. And I just thought it was really cute. My top is also from Target. It's like a little crop top. It's like a little cutout here. I love it so much. I think I'm going to go ahead and order a different color. Because it would look so cute with like loose mom jeans with cute little like slides. I just thought it would be so cute. 
but yeah i hope you found this i don't know why i say that but yeah um i hope you found this video interesting if you liked it go ahead and give a thumbs up and i would love for you to go ahead and hit the little subscribe button and join my little youtube family i honestly enjoy making videos and i don't know it makes me so happy that i have you know a lot of you guys watching me now and i just want to say thank you but yeah, go ahead and subscribe and like this video. It helps me out a lot. And as always, leave me your little comments and your suggestions. I love reading them all the time. And I'll see you in the next video.